Hello and welcome back to Lightning Gaming everyone. In this video I'm gonna show you how you can install Duda Pad solo at level 10 even with the new chapter 4 update. So this is the armor I will be wearing and then next up the attributes. I'm gonna go full strength bolt and I'm gonna use the world breaker with black lotus buff and the salted pork buff. So right behind me is the setup I'm gonna be using. I've got my treasure cover over here. Like you said, I've got quite a few doors over here for the NPCs that's gonna try picking my doors. And then I also got a thrall right there. This makes sure that nothing can reach him. He's only there to distract the NPCs. Okay, so here we go. Let's start the Perch X. Okay, take my buffs and here we go. Okay, so the NPC camp spawned quite close to my little base. Let's see what happens. So like you see, I'm gonna run all the way over here so that there's a throw, that throw. By the way, the throw that I'm placed here is a Leon, but you can use any throw you like. Like it's luckily gonna take no damage. And the only reason why I even put the fall there is just to get the aggro of the NPC falls that's attacking, trying to get your treasure. Like you're gonna see a little bit later in the video. Okay, so here comes the first road. Let's see what's gonna happen. If you don't have this fall here, all these NPCs will just go stand right. Everywhere around you and will kill you almost instantly like you can't roll or anything to get out of their way But look what happens now my thrall is grabbing almost all their aggro Making it real easy for me just to pick them off like two or three at a time When you need to heal just run back here and heal and then you ready to get back into the fight See, that thrall is working really good to grab almost all of the NPCs aggro. If that thrall wasn't there right now, the, all the thralls would be standing like right around me, killing me very quick. If you don't have any LO potions or anything that can heal you quickly, you can use the vitality system because every time you get a vitality kill, your health will go up, making it real hard to die. Okay, so I'm just gonna skip a little bit into the part so that we don't have to sit here 30 minutes and looking at everything but the one thing to keep an eye on is these guys over here they're the ones that's gonna try to pick your door and see this is what happens when you don't have crap enough of their echo they just go stand everywhere around you and yeah you can die really quickly Now just close the doors again so they have to start over at picking them all. If you use this method I'm using like these guys that's gonna try to pick your lock, the thieves will have a really hard time getting around you because you're almost guaranteed to eat them, making them visible. But yeah, this world breaker is just doing so much damage, making this part so easy. <laughs> Check this out. All the NPCs is just standing there echoed on my fall. Now 
making it really easy to just kill them all and get the patch over and down. Okay, so I skipped into the patch a little bit more and now this titan has spawned so after you kill that the patch will be over but you're gonna see after I kill this guys there's like waves that keep spawning close to him and the thing about that waves is they're not gonna go for the treasure cover they're gonna come directly for you so just be careful when killing him because it really sucks if you had to do the whole patch and you die right at the end before you get the loot. So I'm gonna kill some more of these guys. Some more over here. See the next wave already came. I'm gonna kill all of them as well. Very quick and very easy with the world breaker and the strength bolt. Now look at that look there at the back. They will just keep spawning no matter what until you defeat the commander. And look what happens if I try to run around them. They all just come straight for me and the problem is if you kill all of them they're just gonna respawn. So I'm just gonna run all the way over here, let them follow me into this maze. Try to get some time to challenge the commander alone. I'm gonna jump over here and run straight for the commander. He's really not even tough at level 10. So the faster, faster you can kill this guy the better before the rest of the NPCs get here. See I was a little bit too slow over here. This might make it a little bit harder. Okay, so after he's dead, it's just gonna take like a minute or two for all the NPCs to disappear. But there we go. And that's it, patch is over. Now, good thing to remember is this guy only drops 7 keys. And there are 7 cages with um, NPCs you can get. But it's good to remember there's also a loot chest in the middle of the camp. But I'm gonna open up all 7 the cages. And then I'll just spawn in another key to open the loot box as well, so you guys can see what's inside there as well. Like you can see, there's really, I was very unlucky this time. I only got this one ninth fall, the rest is all pretty much basic falls. Okay, so yeah, here's all the falls I got. Pretty much useless falls that you're never gonna need except for the barkeeper maybe. And you've got this basic materials over here. Okay, so let me grab a key and show you what's inside the loot box. Okay, so inside the loot box. There's a few good stuff, or not good, but decent at least stuff that you can use in and around your base. But mostly it's also just stress that you don't really need. But 
but yeah thank you very much for watching and that's how you do a solo but on age of war chapter 4 thank you everyone for watching see you in my next video